I think the UN has laid out 17 great SDGs, and I think a lot of people are kind of thinking about how are we going to make it happen, right? We, we have limited resources, a um, lot of work to do. You know, you can't even says there's a big gap, and what I hope is that out of this conference, people will start thinking about new ways to actually try and do things and come up with new models, but more importantly, leverage some of the emerging technology like artificial intelligence to make these things a reality. I think it has to be a little bit of a meeting of the minds. So on the technology side, I know that things are moving very fast, right? And every, every time we make an advancement, we're already thinking two steps ahead of what we can do next. But because we're moving fast, what's really happening is the models are changing and it's tough for people that are trying to solve the problems to keep up. And to, to be honest, with especially with artificial intelligence, we're entering what we're, we call the third generation of computing. That computers no longer are executing just programs or sort of instructions or following a path. It's actually becoming more like interaction based. And that requires a new way to actually think about how you develop and design solutions. And you're actually touching on a point that I see is that oh, this is where a lot of people stumble, um, really on both sides, is powerful technology, a lot of things we can do, but how do you get started, all right? We know what we know, and that unlocks some value, but there's a lot more to be unlocked. If we start thinking about, okay, what's the problem, and forget everything else for a second, how do we solve it? And then how can we actually leverage technology to make that solution a reality? I think we're actually making progress towards all of them, maybe not as fast as any of us would like. I think we are making progress. And one of the good example of that is with well, Project Lucy. And we, as well as some other NGOs, African governments are actually trying to help enhance the infrastructure out there. And we're using artificial intelligence like IBM Watson to actually do that. So we're actually leveraging Watson to help farmers actually improve crop yields using less water. We're using it for healthcare, where there's only, I think, if I'm correctly, one doctor per 2,000 people. We're using Watson to help enable like local villagers to, you know, diagnose and help administer the proper treatments over there. We're helping for education to help bridge that skills gap and get people ready for, you know, the jobs that are going to be there for tomorrow. So I think kind of across the board we're making traction. What I'd like to see though is more more thought around this into more organizations understanding what's available to actually pursue the SDGs. Go in, I mean, I, would, I always tell people, be technology agnostic. First, understand what are, you, what are you trying to solve, and then what are the capabilities that we can bring to bear to do that. So again, in a perfect ideal world, how could you solve that? You know, forget about whatever limitations we have, and then based off of that, how can we leverage technology, whether it's IBM or somebody else's, to try to make that a reality? So, you know, one of, the, one of the examples is if you think about, you know, we were confronted with a lot of refugee situations, and you think about what do we really need to do there, and we know, okay, how do we get them, how do we find them location, what kind of services do we have to provide them? We could take it a step further, right? We can obviously use computer, we can use AI to help figure some of those things out, but these people have probably been through a very traumatic uh, situation, right? We now have, you know, AI that actually understands human emotion and can actually respond the way it interacts to people based off how it reads that emotion. You could actually leverage AI to comfort some of the refugees, help them get acclimated to whatever new environment they're in, help with that transition process. And that's something that people are, you know, just starting to talk about now because we create that awareness. So I think the ability to help these organizations ideate through this process and show, hey, there's probably, you know, a couple of levels more than you're even thinking about that you could do with AI. I think that's the key thing that we all need to do is focus then again, the problem we're trying to solve, but all the pieces we can actually try and tackle for it. I've, I've actually seen a, a few really interesting uh, points brought up that I hope will kind of spark the thinking for people. Um, I, I know that AI is still kind of an unknown and broad topic for people, but I think sparking the idea, spark, getting people thinking is going to be the, the key thing. And I think getting the little pieces of here and there and more, and more importantly these breakout sessions are actually a key thing to start that process because I'm hoping that this is not just you know a one and done for people. They come in, they hear some great things, sh maybe share a little bit, but they actually walk away with something tangible and say, you know what, there's something I'm working on that maybe I can leverage AI for. I want to go figure out how to do that. And that's the next step they really take from the summit.